Okay, yesterday we couldn't complete the topic. Sage Parte can eat totally wise carte again. Chalu Sage Parte. Okay, sir. Okay. अच्छा मैं मेरे ख्याल में इंटरजेंशन इंटरजेक्शन हम पढ़ लेते ओके ओके इंटरजेक्शन एन इंटरजेक्शन इज अ वर्ड व्हिच एक्सप्रेस सम सडन फीलिंग एज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इट आई थिंक वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इट यस्टरडे यस दैट इट एक्सप्रेस सम सडन फीलिंग and those feelings are most of the time not intentional unintentionally some words come out of our mouth in case uh, we feel pain we say ouch and this is not intentional but it comes out of our mouth unintentionally so hurra is for joy alas is for a uh, sad feeling sadness and uh, there are many other words apart from these an interjection the word which express uh, the certain feelings it ends in an exclamation mark our teacher used to tell us it is ulta i upside down i so uh, hurra we have won the game alas she is dead okay a player is coming very happily and he is shouting hurrah okay some modern grammar include determinators uh determiners uh, sir uh, is it the same page Uh, yes, ma'am. This is point number 17. Okay. So, modern grammar includes determiners among the parts of speech. Determiners are words like a uh, and the अच्छा आवाज क्लियर आ रही है उस्मान भाई as in many traditional grammars all determiners except a and and the are classed among adjectives so um, the determiners except of a and and the are classed among adjectives so here i recall it a and the they are not adjectives 
they are not class classified but the every each and my him or his one two etc they are among adjectives okay to determine something to determine something uh, uh like or or uh, it says that we limit the meaning of nouns that follow so uh, the noun that follows these words it determine its meaning for example a book an apple the boys this cat that dog these flowers those people every day each time some oranges anyone my book his book then number 18 is as words are divided into work they do the is clear that we cannot say to which part of the speech a word belongs unless we use it unless we okay so i can see uh, we use it in we see ma'am we okay. see it used in a sentence Okay, we see it used in a sentence or we use it in a sentence okay they arrive soon after adverb soon after it's adverb they arrive after us the preposition they arrive after we had left it's conjunction as a conjunction it is and they arrived after us it is used as after we have उस्मान भाई आप लोग को आवाज क्लियर आ रही है अच्छा मैम यू आर नॉट एडिबल एट मे बी समेटवर्क प्रॉब्लम No question. I, if you can share this one. 
sir if you can share this so i can see so sir as for different classes according to the work they perform in a sentence it is which part of the speech of words to unless we use it in a sentence okay so it usage depends whether it is used as an article whether it is used as a determiner or whether uh it is used as a um uh, adjectives hope the question is satisfied with answer okay Can you see my mic on your screens? Can you see the mic on your screens? Ah, Jim and Karian, your voice is clear. You are audible. Okay, okay. Then let's move towards the next topic or next point. I surprise the noun and kinds of noun proper things as own is proper kind noun proper means on proper is own Proper nouns are always radical. I think, sir, Madhesh, your your connection is also disturbing. <laughs> yes, ma'am. आज जो है मेरा कनेक्शन साथ नहीं दे रहा और कल उधर ही मसला था तो डेढ़ सौ ये क्या करें हम पढ़ना भी चाहे तो बंदा पढ़ भी नहीं सकता क्या करें क्लास लेना चाहे क्लास भी नहीं ले सकता सो यस यस दिस इज प्रॉब्लम आई डोंट नो व्हाट टू डू ये आज कल ये मसले चल रहे हैं मैम इससे पहले मैंने तो मैं तो क्लास अटेंड करता रहता हूँ और इस इस तरह की चीजें नहीं होती थी पहले बिल्कुल आज कल हो नहीं मैम वी शेल वी शेल कंटिन्यू जब पेस में जब पेस बनती है तो ओके क्योंकि पेस जब बनती है तो एकदम से नेटवर्क क्लियर हो जाता है और फिर डिस्टरबेंस और फिर बीच में वो इंटरेक्शन जो क्वेश्चन जो भी तरह क्वेश्चन बीच में पूछते हैं तो वो भी नेटवर्क की वजह से आउट हो जाते हैं दोबारा वो एन होते हैं थोड़ा टाइम है ये नाउन पढ़ सकते हैं मेरे ख्याल में इंशाल्लाह ओके Okay, uh, so proper nouns are always written with capital letters at the beginning. Jaise ki we say uh, that uh, Usman, you, they, Z, Mudassir, uh, M, Tara, S. So these are the beginning letters, and they are written in capitals. Apart apart from uh, person names, the names of the cities: Lahore, Peshawar, Karachi. Islamabad, yeah. any country, America, Pakistan, India, U, UK, USA, uh, whatever. They are the the beginning letters are written in capital because they are proper nouns. Um, 
then the note two is proper nouns are sometimes as common nouns. How? As he was the Lukman of the wisest man of his age. He was the Lukman. It is talking about Hakim Lukman, the wisest man of his age. So here mm -hmm. I can see that something like has like become one. common. Like he was the like Lukman. Like okay. Uh, Kalidas is often called Shakespeare, the best dramatist of India. So here, the wisest mm -hmm. man and the greatest dramatist is uh, used as the common nouns uh, for the proper nouns Lukman and the Ka Kalidas or Shakespeare because here the, uh, both are being mentioned as the greatest uh, dramatist. One is from uh, literature, Hindi literature and other is from English literature. Common nouns in what are called collective nouns and common nouns have other categories, the collective nouns and abstract nouns collective noun are the name collective noun is the number a name of a number or collection of persons or things taken together and spoken as one whole as so uh, people uh, group of people or people standing in in a crowd uh, are uh, named as crowd. Okay, so this is collective uh, noun for many people. Okay, mob. This is also a collective noun for people gathered together. Team. Team. Uh, hockey team. A cricket team. Team of uh, the advisors. Team of uh, the players. So this, uh, these are collective nouns. Flock of uh, sheep or or birds. Herd of sheep hota hai. Flock of birds. Okay. Okay. Sometimes the uh, disturbs and some some thermodesser himself disturbs us. <laughs> Isn't it? Uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> so, of sheep or animals of or goats, uh, army of, of good people, fleet. This is also a collective noun. Fleet of uh, the example we can say anyone who can uh, fleet. Yes, ma'am. It has been uh, explained. Uh, uh, you can see as a fleet as a collection of ships or uh, vessels. Okay, a collection of ships or vessels. Okay, okay, okay. So, oh, yes, yes. I forgot it. Okay. Jury, uh, as, as we say, jury, uh, the uh, jury of judges, family, uh, with the people of family, nation, as the uh, uh, people of uh, citizens of any state, uh, parliament, uh, group of uh, elected people, uh, community of uh, selected people. Okay. A fleet, a collection of ships or vessels, an army, a collection of soldiers, they're good people, good people, crowd, a collection of people, police, uh, disperse the crowd. The French army was defeated at Waterloo. A jury found the prisoner, prisoner guilty. A herd of cattle is passing. So these are the examples uh, in words as well as in sentences of collective nouns. Then is abstract noun. Uh, abstract noun, we can say in 
uh, we can say it is intangible, which we cannot touch. These are abstract nouns. An abstract noun is usually the name of quality, action, or taste considered apart from the object which it belongs as quality. What quality? It may be goodness, kindness, whiteness, darkness, hardness, brightness. Another, honesty, wisdom, or bravery. These all are the qualities. So they are abstract now, intangible. As you can see, these qualities are the adjective too. Action, laughter, step, movement, judgment, hatred, and the state, the situation or the state, childhood, boyhood, youth, slavery, sleep, sickness, death, poverty. Okay. So these are abstract nouns which we cannot touch. We cannot touch wisdom. We cannot touch or see goodness. We cannot touch or see kindness. We cannot see other. But we can see the person having these qualities. We can see the person laughing. We can see the thief uh, who has theft. We can see the movement. Sorry, we cannot see the this uh, uh, action or we cannot touch that action, the movement. Actually, we can see a person moving, but we cannot see its movement. Okay. Then we cannot see the childhood. We cannot touch the childhood, uh, but we can see a child. Okay. Same names of the arts and sciences, for example, grammar, music, chemistry, etc. are also abstract nouns because these are ideas. Like chemistry book, we can touch it, but we cannot itself touch chemistry anywhere. We can listen to the music, but we cannot touch the music or see the music. We can uh, read or write or learn, but we cannot touch it anywhere are abstract nouns and uh, there is another term associated with this is concrete noun all these all, all those things which we can touch are concrete nouns okay abstract uh, we can speak of brave soldier a strong man a beautiful flower but we can also think of these qualities apart from any particular person or thing and think of them beauty by themselves. Also, we can speak of persons do or feel apart from the thing themselves and give it a name. The word abstract means drawn off, means uh, drawn off. Other words? Wait a while, please. <laughs> okay, ma'am. There is some, some problem. No, ma'am. Uh, you are already well. Okay. Yes, I am. Uh, I may be audible, but it's too cold over here. Same situation here. Yes, I am sitting outside the room to keep the network stable. I am freezing, literally freezing. Okay. To remove the word abstract means to remove something which is drawn off, the thing which is removed, means the actual thing, the concrete material is removed and 
the idea or the intangible uh, thing has is left or in intangible situation is left untouchable yes situation is left <clears throat> abstract nouns are formed from adjective as kindness from kind honesty from honest most abstract nouns are formed thus from verbs as obedience from obey growth from grow from common nouns as child childhood from child slavery from slave and there are a few more which we cannot see here yes okay so uh, as i have uh, mentioned uh, a while ago it word which it takes the noun abstract noun takes they may be the adjective the verbs or the noun another class of is whether they are countable or uncountable so there are countable nouns which can be counted are the names of the objects people etc for example book pen apple sister doctor horse we can count if there are 10 books or we can say if there are millions book or trillions book we can go beyond the uh, uh, limits uh, by uh, by counting these things they are count countable but those which are sorry which are beyond the limits and cannot be counted are uncountable nouns we can tell the numbers of the book pen apple boy sister doctor horse but uncountable nouns or uncountables are the names of things which we count for example milk we cannot count whether it's one milk or two milk or three milk, but we can say that liters of milk, five liters, ten liters, but we cannot count it in number directly as we can count book, pen, apple, boy, sister, and many other things. Oil, sugar, we cannot say give me one sugar or give me one oil, or give me one mail, or give me one gold, give me one honesty. They mainly denote substances and abstract things. So, because milk is a substance, oil is a substance, gold is also. So, we cannot count the uh, I would say the droplets or whatever of these things. And honesty, as we say, that it's ab abstract thing, so we cannot count honesty too. Yes, ma'am. Uh, okay. Just like uh, we, can, now, we yes. can also say, ma'am, that uh, here, here is also ball, uncountable noun. Yes, yes, it is uncountable. Yes, thank you, ma'am. Hair, okay, you're talking about hair on the head. Okay, yes, they are also, uh, uh, we cannot count it, like rice, we cannot count them. Okay, so it is not like, we can count them in number if we have uh, given uh, granules of uh, a few uh, granules of rice, we can say there is counted, there are 10 granules or there is one granule of uh, of uh, rice over here. But in a true sense, we cannot count these uncountable nouns. So it cannot be counted in numbers, generally. Countable nouns have plural forms, while uncountable nouns do not. This is the main point. This is the main thing which we uh, about. Uh, uncountable nouns do not have plural forms. For example, we say books, but we cannot say milks. That's why this is 
that is why because it is uncountable milk oil sugar gold gold yes. sugars yes ma'am you mean that yes. the the plural form the plural form of gold is gold the plural form of sugar is sugar itself is yes, yes. itself it is the same the plural of milk is itself milk oil is itself oil sugar is itself sugar and gold is itself gold you also obedience also wisdom so we can not Uh, count a, them in numbers, and we cannot give them any uh, other plural form uh, by adding s or es with them. Yes. Okay. Shall we continue with the next one? Uh, no, ma'am. I think uh, I think uh, time is not enough. So how much time is left? I think just yes, only time one is, one minute. Uh, yes, time has ended. Just one minute is left. If we go through okay. this exercise, uh, ma'am, so <laughs> so uh, I can't see much participants in the class. Uh, four students. Okay, we have Sarathi. Okay, no, no issue. Sarathi and Miss Fatma.